Have you been given a diagnosis of CRPS by your orthopedic surgeon or by your GP? Have you been struggling with very severe intense pain in your arm or your leg after a recent injury? And has this been accompanied by color change or swelling or pins and needles? If so, you might indeed be having this truly difficult and complex condition called CRPS. My name is Dr. Deepak Ravindran and I am a pain management consultant practicing for the last 10 years. And in my clinical practice, I have seen this condition of CRPS or as it is expanded, complex regional pain syndrome. And in my opinion, it is a condition that needs the expertise of the pain consultant and their team to achieve a satisfactory outcome. What does a pain consultant actually bring to the management of CRPS? You may be asking yourself as to what can, can be can added in. And it's important for you to understand what are the treatment options. And for that, you first need to understand what are the reasons for CRPS. So what do you feel are the triggering factors for it. What we understand now is that in CRPS, the nervous system of that area gets sensitized and may even be damaged because of the injury. And therefore, it's important to recognize that you have to manage the nervous system at the same time prevent the loss of function. So, your strategies that you need to put in with the help of the pain consultant needs to be targeted at both these options, not just the medications, but also the various interventions that can be done. And it is the pain consultant and their team that can put together a treatment plan that is aggressive and that is tailored and individualized for your particular condition so that we can get the best outcome. So what are the treatments that can be done and that should be done? With CRPS, it's important first of all to recognize that restoration of the movement in that arm, whether it's your ankle, whether it's your leg, or whether it's your arm, that is the most important thing. So your pain consultant will be working with a specialist physiotherapist and an occupational therapist and possibly even your GP to fashion a plan that's appropriate for you. They may even have access to a psychologist who can help create a program that will help manage the stress and the psychological changes that can amplify the pain. So getting a pain consultant's opinion and a referral is going to be the first step. It does not matter when you've had the injury, getting the treatment, understanding your options, understanding when interventions like spinal cord stimulation may help is vital in, in, and important in getting the function and quality of life back. So don't wait any longer. Speak to your GP, get a referral to the pain clinic or to the consultant. You may even have to go privately if waiting lists are long and that's a choice you will have to make because the earlier you get treatment, the earlier you can get on to a good pain relief and rehabilitation, the better your recovery and quality of life.